when you have followed my channel, you will know that I was busy with the TRF radio. I published a circuit first for medium wave. That goes approximately from, say, 800 kilocycles to approximately 1.6 megacycles. I also published uh, the same circuit, by the way, but with another antenna coil. And here is that antenna coil so that it could work on the low shortwave band, say around 3, 3.5 megahertz. Anyway, uh, what's more to tell about such a simple circuit? At first, <coughs> that I made this coil my purpose in this way, so that everyone can make it. That's very important, uh, one of the aims of my uh, YouTube channel say, to show the joy of making a radio <coughs> or other circuits, an amplifier, whatever. Anyway, this is a simple way to make that shortwave coil, but of course we know that uh, when you go to radio flea markets, you can find all kinds of, say, mini tuned coils. They were often made for medium wave radios, long wave radios, and they are color coded. Um, I have two uh, diff uh, different types, Mitsumi and Toko. Toko is say, still now uh, the most famous brand that makes these kinds of coils, used in all kinds of radios. Color coding means that they are tuned to a certain frequency band. And this is a kind of stock, but anyway, that doesn't matter much. Um, and I tested them out to see whether they are usable for the uh, TRF radio. And I tested that with a test oscillator that's here. I've published that more or less many times on my YouTube channel. I will give the link in the description. Uh, this is say an oscillator that can test coils between 35 kilohertz and 10 megahertz. So, device to test radio coils on quality and frequency band. And here you see, say, more or less random coil out of my stock and I test it here, it is connected, the oscillator is connected to the scope. Here you see the waveform and here you see the frequency. 282 kilohertz. But of course, when I tune in this here, I can of course give the coil a somewhat other frequency by tuning the core. I have to put the camera down for a while. I tune in now that core and now we get to another frequency. So, uh, the ferrite core is of course uh, also responsible for the frequency and now we are on 316 kilohertz. Anyway, it means that you can use these coils, these uh, coils, for an antenna coil. Perhaps they are not made for that purpose. Uh, sometimes they are made for a specific goal, but anyway. Well, what's, what's more to tell about this? In general, you see uh, two windings here and three windings here. And in general, uh, in that three winding circuit, there is an internal capacitor inside that coil. You can take it out. Uh, you have to move the metal cap, etc., etc. Takes time and effort, but anyway. And of course, when you take the cap out, the frequency will go up. Very logical when we look to the radio theory. So, uh, when you want to do more experiments and experiments with the TRF radio, this is only a first ID um, uh, 
when you can find these coils on flea markets, etc., etc., and use them as antenna coil. At first, uh, info about these different coils and capsules with a varied cap. It's a kind of hood that moves up and down over that coil and it has a very specific bandwidth. I will tell more and will, I will show that. Color coding and here are all the type numbers that I found on all these coils. They are a little bit covered with a kind of uh, glue but anyway. Here are the type numbers. Yellow code for TOCO 20291-81247 etc etc. In general these are TOCO coils but also Mitsumi coils. This is a Mitsumi coil anyway. Connect them to the oscillator then you can see where they work. And here are all the type numbers. So when you are on a flea market and you can say buy a bunch of these coils. You can have a lot of pleasure with these coils and do doing experiments when doing experiments. And uh, like I told on one side of the coil there is a capacitor inside that metal box. I don't show a white because it's almost always a 455 kilo cycle IF filter with a bandwidth in the order of 7 to 8 kilohertz. Well, what more to tell? Uh, so, here are, say, the frequencies that you can generate with all these coils. And when you connect it to an oscillator, and is that a good idea? Yes, in a certain way that is a good idea to see where such a coil with a certain color can work. But when you connect it to an oscillator, could be uh, that you don't have good results. Sometimes it doesn't want to oscillate when you connect uh, windings of the uh, these coils. And that's why I've made this, say, a schedule. And here the yellow one, and I've indicated here on which uh, points, which wires, pins of these coils you can use it as an oscillator coil or as an antenna coil. And like I told, there's inside, in more or less all cases, a capacitor that's hidden inside the, the, metal, the metal box. And often or sometimes there's also here a capacitor, but of course when there is a capacitor between Z and A, there's also capacitance between uh, X and A. That's logical. That's radio theory. So I will slowly pan over the frequencies. Yellow you can get from 316 kilohertz to 416 kilohertz. Does that always work? No. You must test that um, in your own situation. And I'm going to show here how that works out. So, blue 4.1 to 5.1 megacycles, <coughs> purple. There are two ways to connect that coil between Z and A and X and A. In that case, we read other frequencies, and uh, that's also somewhat strange. Uh, when I set my test oscillator to another setting, um, it's made with a field effect transistor, by the way. Uh, when I set it to another setting, uh, there is another frequency band. But anyway, do your own test. 
only in that way you can get some serious insight. So purple, the ferrite <coughs> color, of course there's no color, it's say the pure ferrite, <coughs> it's a little bit black or gray. Here are the frequencies that you can do, that you can use for an oscillator, test oscillator or an antenna coil. Orange, 3.8 to 5.0. And well, <coughs> here <coughs> the rest of it all. And again, somewhat closer. Also here with that purple color coded coil, <coughs> different frequency ranges. Red, 3.39 to 424 kilo cycles. Brown, 3.6 to 474. And that's the reason why I've used here for this first test that coil. Because this radio was for, in fact, first up for medium wave, but in that second experiment for the low short wave bands. I hope this is visible. I take some time. I turn the camera. Sorry for that, but perhaps for everything interested for everyone <coughs> uh, uh, say who likes to do these experiments so let's listen to the radio <coughs> and I've now connected that brown coil out of the series it's here brown coil I have three minutes on my camera so anyway Let's try and see what this all can bring. That brown coil is now visible. Um, turn the radio on. And now, and now I tune that brown coil. That mini brown coil. Here. Of course we have to do with fading. I have already talked about it. I think this is an Arabic radio station, more or less sure. And I have connected the, the only the indoor antenna of 5 meters to the top of that brown coil, say the secondary or the primary winding at its top, whatever you want to call it. And the frequency dependent winding is now of course connected to the radio, to the field effect transistor input its gate. Does it give better results compared to say the coil that I published earlier, my homemade coil for everyone. Well, you, we can talk about it. Do your own experiments. In theory, it must work better. But in practice, well. So, that was the demo with the wire antenna indoor, now the outdoor antenna. The outdoor antenna, less noise, same radio station. Let's listen. And here we have the same situation, the antenna forms in combination with that here, that mini coil, a tuned coil. So the tuning to the radio station band where this all works changes. 
So with an indoor or an outdoor antenna and an outdoor antenna via coax, you have different results. And I don't know where this radio station transmits, but it's in Spanish, as far as I know. Însă o mare parte din conținutul lui se referă la economie. Premierii or Portuguese. Au fost însoțiți de reprezentații unor mari companii din ambele țări. Aena, Iberdola, Navatia, Telefonica, SS, Intra, Barclay, Now it fades. Fades away. And that Arabic radio station gets more fears. Or perhaps Radio China has everything to do with selectivity issues with the <coughs> caused by the simple setup of this radio receiver. But when you live close to that Spanish radio station where it transmits, uh, you will have no problems with failing. And Radio China sings its song on shortwave everywhere. Thanks for watching.